Welcome back. My name is Tokyo Blue, and you've come to Game Station Tokyo. Today we're doing the Walking Dead game. Uh, this is season one, episode one. It's called A New Day. Uh, I have about two hours worth of first time gameplay. You saw the first 30 minutes in this last video. Uh, you'll see another 30 minutes this video and so forth. Uh, I have to apologize. I realized during editing that maybe I was sitting too close to the mic or maybe my mic gain was a little bit too high. So my voice sounds a little bit, um, not only loud, but it kind of vibrates. Uh, so I, apologies there. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. And without further delay, let's get this episode started. Some guy? Whoops. Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I don't know. They're weird. The monsters come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Yeah, let's take the broken car instead of all the nice refreshed ones. Uh Oh yeah, look at this car vibrate as we move it. How come? Where are my choices? Oh. What's going on with the daylight? It's turning red. Well, where are my choices? Oh. Oh, they want the truck. I thought they wanted that broken green one. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Bye bye. This farm is pretty far. Yeah, I can't look around. Welcome to the Okie Dokie. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a sniff. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice it's... to meet you both. Well, his head's pretty big for his body. He's kind of out of proportion. Should he be going on his own? Being a zombie apocalypse and all? Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. But this ain't Chet. You've brought a Who's the guests? guy with the jelly jam on himself? Uh, we need a place to stay. Uh, or as I say, just need we some just help. just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. How so rude. It's just you and your daughter, then. I oh, told you once. He's I'm going to tell you well, again. Just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Hey, get away from her, you pervert. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Mr. Guy? Oh, yeah. Let it's me sew it up. So I always wanted to be a doctor. Know. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I'm an amateur doctor, you know. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, sure. Wrap it right over the dirty this denim. <laughs> uh... Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Prison. Uh... I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. 
We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. I'm a cop, you know. Me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. I you told you here. once, I'll tell you again. I I'm didn't catch your not name, her darling. Father. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Oh, that's right. I'm you. Yeah. She so now. I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is. And yet. it's smelly. You're right, son. I won't worry so much. Your son's right. You're going to oh. want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. <laughs> doesn't the guy know he's covered in blood? Uh, I watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Unless he got zombie blood in it. Doesn't go down. You're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Cut we'll it probably off. Probably just have to shoot you. Zombie infection. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? I tell you, we're cannibals. Making, I suppose. All right then. It smells like horse poo. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. Me too. <laughs> How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Other oh, side of the world. Okay. But it's not that far because the world is flat. So don't worry about it, kiddo. I'm just gonna fall asleep now and let this infection take take its course. Hey, get up. <sighs> Who are you? I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. You Lucky got you fleas. Don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away. I huh? told you. Oh, I didn't tell you yet. Not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Does that look like the kid from Toy Story? We that brat. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Hmm. Maybe. Boy. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. They don't give you a lot of chance <laughs> Good to luck with that. read He's what's going on. Ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there. So the That is a brat from Toy Story. The better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We Just can who visit. are you, lady? 
I told you once, I'll tell you again, I'm not, I'm not her dad, she's not my little girl. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey there, girls. <laughs> you two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, uh, not horses. Uh, what is it that you do? You're a doctor then. I used to teach up at the University <laughs> of, of Georgia. Animals. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No. I used to. I was let go a little while back. What? What Looks happened too bad. there? Well... I hear people always clamor that back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny oh, she learned that I was fired. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Ran them over. Okay. Just like that. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Sure. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Excuse me, this conversation's boring. You're boring me, lady. I want to make it over to the barn over there. Oh, I can actually go in. Hmm. I'm going to have to secure this place. Can I turn around? Where the fleas? Okay. Nothing here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go over here. Oh. You're letting the Toy Story Kid drive? What's this? How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! They call me Duck because my dad likes shooting cans off my head. <laughs> bye bye! Don't run the guy over, he's right in front of you. How you doing, Duck? Good! Drive the tractor. Hey, we just have this conversation. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Right. Sean's still working on that fence. That's it. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. I've been if waiting you for you to get over here. That sure speed things up. Oh, a hammer. I have bad images. <laughs> bad memories of a hammer. Now dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. He lives in his own world. In Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Was a zombie kid? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I like this one. Bastard. Poor girl's brain. <laughs> Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Did he say he thinks it's a bigger threat than what's out My there? and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. 
That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. That was really easy cutting that wood. That's gonna hold zombies back? Hey, you're banging the boards on kind of crooked, kid. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? <laughs> Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Do you uh, uh, think come this on. thing will keep Can you out? say something different? Not yet. I'm planning on All coming right. back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. I like the watercolors. All right, bye. Gotta go see what other trouble I can do. Uh, you have a dog? Uh -huh. Some chickens? Where are the cows? I want some beef. Uh, and a well. I want a drink of water. Hopefully it ain't infected. He seems like an alright dude. For a guy who shoots cans off his son's head. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. I wasn't looking at you, but okay. Uh. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the so fucker about shot him in the face. Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. I'm sure you meant dolphin fish. Need any help? Nah, no, you don't look it. like a mechanic to me. Do you need any help? What yeah, give me the well, keys I mean, to your taking boat. care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. <laughs> you can shoot cans off her head like I do with Duck. Uh, oh, I'm walking again. Mm hmm. There's nothing growing in this garden. It's a very small farm. Oh, I can go back into the barn again. I'm cleaning up all this horse plop. Although we don't have horses. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? I had a bad dream about my wife. No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? That's what the doctor said. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. That's what he's saying. So he got the Go, engine started. My Yahoo! My gun, my, my engine's working. <laughs> oh, 
exciting. Oh. Why does the kid do something? Oh, I see. He got bratty and ran him over. <laughs> oh, I had a choice to save Duck or the other guy. Eddie, help me. Where's my cursor? Eddie! Oh, here you go. Oh, he's going to push it. This is where he finds out he has superhuman powers with the bum leg, too. Oh, you see, he used that stupid balsa wood. And now, now they got through. Goodness gracious! I'm okay, Papa. <laughs> I'm okay. It's just Jimmy Jam. We'll stitch you up. You can't. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, they bit me. They tried to I got me. zombie, zombie infection all over me. Get away. I'm bleeding out. Why don't you say you're gonna stitch me? Oh. <clears throat> it's that dang kid. He ran over his leg, first of all, pinning him to the fence. I want to kill everyone. This is all your fault. All of you. Get the fuck out of here! Uh, no need to use such harsh Sorry. language. Sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Oh, now take it easy. You can't blame Kenny. Thanks. No, I'm gonna give you the keys to my boat. Back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. I'm gonna cut me down some real trees and get some real wood. Yeah, let's let's take them. We'll take the barn. It'll all be ours. That's what they're thinking. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Hmm, that's not what I was thinking, but okay. That's a completely unreliable vehicle. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Guess we're sleeping. They all fit in that thing? I guess we're sleeping in this pickup. Are their feet actually touching the ground? Look! It's so unalive. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Are you one of them? Oops, it's one of them. Let's get a move on. Everything's in slow mo now. Yikes! Run! <laughs> sure, just shoot up the place, attract more zombies. Sorry, stores closed. Come back tomorrow. There you have it, folks. The end of a somewhat mostly boring episode. Uh, a lot of character development here. Got exciting a little bit when Sean got ran over by the brat. But uh, anyhow, uh, if you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe. I hope you're having a good time watching. Uh, any likes, any comments will help out too. 
please do come on back uh, when next we uh, come back we'll find out what's going on in that store uh, anybody know what the store is I'm pretty sure you guys have a good idea it's the drugstore but who does it belong to anyhow my name is Tokyo Blue if you come to Game Station Tokyo guys please do come on back sayonara <laughs>